Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number 30, day number 30. This was the original game plan. On the first 20 days, we did uh, evaluation of algebraic expression on the first 20 days and then I had planned, I had hoped that in the next 10 days I'll be finished with the topic of adding and subtracting like term. It does not look like that. This day 30 already and I'm not even halfway through. So we need to change this to, to 40. And this will be pushed to 50. And then we'll start, uh, we'll start from 51. Okay, day number 30. The problem is on the blackboard. The very first problem is on the blackboard. We are asked to find we are asked to find the sum of, if I can write this in a bigger letter, find the sum of these three expressions. And if you've been watching the videos from day number 21, you know what it means to combine the like terms. So in order for us to add these three expressions, we have to line up the like terms uh, together. So here we have a plus 2b plus 3c. In the second one I have 4c minus 2a plus 3b. They have to line up c has to go under the c, b has to go under b. So 4c, it has no sign in front of it, so it's a positive sign right there. Minus 2a goes here, minus 2a plus 3b, plus 3b is going to go here. So that takes care of that expression. Let's go to the last one, 7b, positive 7b, positive 7b, minus 7c, and then negative 2b. How did that happen? Four C plus three B plus minus two A and negative five A plus minus this thing is wrong. It should have said negative seven C minus five A plus two B. Negative seven C plus two B. minus 5a. And now we have to add them up. Not that it makes any difference, it's just that uh, I want to make sure that it's the same than one that in my notes so that I can confirm the answer at the end. Or at least if the answers don't match then I know that at least that either I made a mistake here or I made a mistake in my notes. So let's add them up. That's the first thing we have to do. Line up all the like terms. And once they are lined up, it's very simple, very straightforward. We simply have to add them up. Here there is no exponent, so it's a 1, positive 1. So positive 1 and a negative 2, positive 1 and a negative 2 is a negative 1. And then negative 5, so we get a negative 6 here. I'm going to change the color. So we get a negative 6. Negative 6a. And then here, we have a positive 2 and a positive 2, 7 plus 3, uh, 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 3, 7, 7b. Seven and then what happens at the end? When we get to C, when we get to C, we got positive 3, a positive 4, and a negative 7. If the answer is 0, so they cancel out. That's it, that's your answer. Negative 6a, negative 6a plus 7b. Negative 6a plus 7b. Let's do the next one. I'm going to do the next one right here. We, we don't need these two expressions because they're already here. Let's do the next problem. Okay. 3x plus 2y 
plus 4z, 8z minus 3y minus 5x minus 3x plus 2y minus 10z. Can we add them up the way they are written? No, we cannot add up these expressions the way they are written. They have to be lined up properly, so we have to rewrite it. So we have 3x three x plus two y plus four z and then we have eight z which has to go under this one eight z then we have negative three y that can stay here and then negative five x negative five x similarly we have negative ten z which is going to go here negative ten z minus three x and then positive two y now we can add them up now we have like terms together, we can add them up very easily. What sign does this 3x have? It has a positive sign, so this is positive 3x, this is negative 3x, this positive 3x and negative 3x will cancel out, and you get a negative 5x. Then we have plus 2, and a plus 2 that's a 4, 4 minus 3 is 1, so it's just a y, positive y. And then finally we have 4 plus 8 is 12, 12 minus 10 is 2, so we have 2z. That's it, that, that's our answer there. Minus 5x plus y plus 2z. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I need the room, so I need to erase, erase both of them. Number 3. We have 2p minus 3q plus 5r, 4q minus 3p minus 7r, and and 9r plus 8p minus 8q. We have to find find the sum of these three expressions. This is an expression, this is an expression, this is an expression. Our job is to find their sum and of course very first thing you have to do is line up the like term. All the p's should line up, all the q's should line up and all the r's should line up. So 2p minus 3q plus 5r 4q, positive 4q, positive 4q, negative 3p, negative 7r, 9r, positive 9r, positive 9r, plus 8p, minus 8q. Now that, is every, now that everything is lined up, now we can add them up. So let's get going. This one has a positive sign in front of it, right here. Plus 2 and plus 8, positive 2 and positive 8 is going to make positive 10, minus the 3 is positive 7, 7p. Here we have a negative 2, a negative 8 and a negative 3, that's negative 11, plus a 4 is a negative 7q. And here we have positive 5 and a negative 7, that's negative 2, negative 2 and a positive 9 is a positive 7. So that is your answer. 7p minus 7q plus 7r. Now here it's just a fluke, while we are at it, might as well learn something else. It's just a fluke that they all have the same coefficient. They all have the same coefficient, 7. Which means we can take the 7 out, 7 common. We can take out 7 as, as, as common. So if I take out 7 from here, we're left with P. Here, if we take out the 7, we're left with minus Q. And if we left, take out 7, we're left with positive R. And notice that's exactly what we'll get if we were to open the parenthesis. If you were to open the parenthesis, we will get 7p right here. We will get negative 7q. And then finally, we will get positive 7r. So you can leave the answer the way it is, or you can write it like this. Either way, it's fine. That's it. That's all I have for today. Keep it very simple, uh, straightforward. I will see you tomorrow on day number 31. We'll do a few more problems.
In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, send me an email from any of these website addresses that you see there. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 31. Okay?